Pro Wrestling in 2004. It was when Kurt Angle uh, was making that tough enough challenge to the tough enough wrestlers or participants. Uh, we know what happened. Then uh, Kurt got his first victory. Then he called another guy in former MMA fighter, Daniel Pewter, stepped up and almost broke Kurt's arm. While doing that and what happened in that, you were the person that called the smartest decision in pro wrestling until that moment and the difficult one. Uh, because you were the person who did the three count, noticing what was happening and declared Kurt the winner in order to protect him and the business. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you expect it at any point that that could happen? And what can you tell us about living that experience? I mean, how, what was Kurt's reaction? What was the reaction backstage? Uh, how do you feel being the person that saved pro wrestling at that moment? Oh, uh, well, thank you for putting it that way. It's very nice of you. I don't know if I saved it, but... Uh... Um, my goodness, it, it, Kurt was supposed to wrestle with whoever won that challenge, but then he went kind of on his own and said, Hey, does anybody else want to challenge me? And that's when Daniel Pewter put up his hand. They got in, they started more of an amateur style wrestling contest sort of thing. And that's when I didn't know it at the time because I wasn't versed in MMA that it was a key lock or a Kimura lock that he had placed on Kurt. And I just knew it was not good. And, you know, I kind of looked back at Al Snow who was standing in the corner and he looked at me and went, and we looked at each other. And when they fell back and Daniel Pewter fell on his back, ah, I just said, I, I'm, I'm counting. I don't care. And I started counting and he may have rolled his shoulder after two, but I don't care. I counted three anyways. It was going to end, you know, thinking back, uh, I should have thought this is amateur. So I could have counted just one and ended it like that. But, um, Uh, it was just a reactionary thing. I don't want to say that I was, it was a brilliant thing. I just thought, I was thinking to myself, we have to end this somehow. What do I do? And that's what came to mind. And, you know, Kurt was very upset at Pewter. They, you saw afterwards, they got in each other's face and, and uh, he gave him an earful. And when I got to the back, um, I walked through Gorilla and the Gerald Grisco who was manning gorilla as I was walking by, just looked at me and gave me a thumbs up, which was enough because that's, I, I didn't want to, I, I was kind of avoiding everybody. And then fit Finley came to me and said, who told you to count? I said, nobody, I just reacted. He says, well, you kind of, like you said, you just, you probably saved his arm. And I, that's when I said, you know what, I'm just going to go find a nice quiet place and stay by myself and not interact with anybody for a little while. So let me translate that part to Spanish. En el 2004 ocurre un, un suceso en donde Kurt Angle reta a los peleadores de Tough Enough. Y entre las personas que sube después de su primera victoria, Daniel Pewter, peleador de MMA, eh, y empiezan a luchar, peleador estilo lucha amateur. Eh, Jimmy Cordera será el árbitro en aquel momento dado. Y de repente Daniel Pewter decide poner a Kurt Angle en un Kimura lo completamente. Y estuvo a esto de partirle el brazo. Eh, Jimmy mira al Snow en la esquina que era el entrenador de los de Toffinoff le da esta mirada de que esto no se supone que esté pasando Jimmy mira al Snow de igual manera ¿qué rayos hago? su primera reacción fue ok, estos cayeron, voy a, con, voy a romper a contar y hacer contado 1, 2, 3 y aunque levantó su hombro 1, 2 y 3 ganó Kurt Angle, no importa había que salvar el negocio en aquel momento dado y había que salvar la imagen de Kurt Angle que no podía caer derrotado ante cualquier eh, tipo de, de, de otra industria Llega después de esto a Gorilla Position, cuando pasa por allí, Gerald Brisco le da ese famoso thumbs up, como que aprobó, como que bien hecho lo que hiciste. Él trató de evitar a todo el mundo. En el Purity Crangle sí eh, tuvieron su altercado, como él menciona. Y él se trató de esconder hasta que Fit Finley fue quien se le acerca y le dice, ¿Quién rayos te dijo que contara? Y él dice, nadie. Simplemente reaccioné eh, como tuvo que haber reaccionado en aquel momento dado. Y Finley le dice, bueno, eh, acabas de salvar la industria de la lucha libre, porque en aquel momento dado era sumamente necesario protegerlo. 